What's going on guys, a veteran miner here. If you wanna see me make these APW3 slash APW7 wires, you're at the right video. Check this out. Stay tuned and I'll show you how I make them. All right, so we're at the wire machine right now. We're waiting for it to boot up. It's starting its desktop. It has an operating system built into the machine. Um, then basically we can put the power button on, make sure all the wire is situated. It will recalibrate every single time I shut this off. So it has to cut a little bit of the wire, but we're gonna set up the job to do the 10 six pin APW3 wires. So let's wait for this to boot up when it's ready for me. And then we can go from there. Yeah, so it takes a minute for it to boot up. But um, now we have to press the, the power button right here. There we go. So now it's booting up the full system. Then we have to go back here. And basically it's homing the drive units, setting the drives to the start positions. And it's actually initial, initializing the ser servos. So there's a lot of servos that are built into here to make everything move and work. So let's do its all calibration. The thickness of the cable right here. So it, it's, it's doing quite a few things right now. So it's pretty cool. Okay, so now we just need to select our job. So I have to go in here and I need to select the job that we're working on. This should be it. Let's see here. Uh, yeah, so it's just because I'm putting big eye loops on one side so you can see it's like 15 millimeters and then three millimeters on one side here. So what we'll do is, yeah, 60 pieces would be perfect. And then we'll just uh, clear that out and let it go to work. See here, this is what it did. It cuts, it cuts a little piece to make sure everything is calibrated. You can actually take this out here. I can show you what it's doing. So there you go, you have to, well, see I put my hand on it. A little piece right here and then basically, it's a 15 millimeters so we can actually put the big um, eye loop on it for all the connectors, the APW3. Yeah, this is what we came up with. It works really, really well. So, just having everything. And then we'll get back to you. Okay, so now that the wire is cut here, as you can see here, it was like 15 millimeters and then three millimeters on here. We have to put the ends on, but I'm not gonna show you that again. I might just put a little bit, of, a little clip on like how it presses, but I have plenty of videos of showing how we actually do um, the pins here so we're not going to do that but basically here we go you have 10 six pin connectors right here utilizing all of this hardware you got the regular heat shrink you have the glued heat shrink to fasten the ends properly uh, tvm uh, heat shrink right here the, the eye loops we have four eye loops two positives two negatives basically this bin right here we're going to put all the excess stuff here you're going to see me i'm going to take all these ends off then we have to use this to put it together, but I'll record the process. We have to solder, because I do solder these, these ends on here. So after everything is done, because it is tin copper, it's already tinned, we're gonna solder this to make a complete connection on top of the crimping. So just want to explain a little bit. There's a soldering iron, so let's get to work. Really quick, so I want to explain, we had a couple of fatalities. Sometimes the crimp just doesn't cooperate, right? Even though that's a good crimp right there, something with the edge, and I take a look at everything right here, so it's no good, right? So now this whole wire, this piece of wire is no good. Cannot utilize it ever again. Same thing with this one right here. So, you know, it happens, you know, because this is how supposed to look 
See? Perfect. Right? But it happens. So, you know, this is what I deal with. But we gotta roll with the punches and uh, now this is trash. Okay, so here's the setup here. I'm using the breakout board because all these have to be lined up right here, right? So every single cable, as you can see, needs to be lined up um, so we can get these terminals on there. So we're using, we'll do a five at a time right there. We're gonna line these up. I have to mark the powers because once you start getting everything aligned and doing the eye loops, you're gonna mark the powers. Then I'm gonna show you how I put everything together. Okay. As we're waiting for that to dry, because we don't want the positive, you, don't, you just don't want the, the Sharpie to get on your fingers or anything like that. We're gonna start with twisting these wires, all the ends right here. So I do this, I pull it back a little bit so it doesn't get frayed. So I have to do these in every single cable. So we just twist it and that's it. Because you'll see when I'll push them together, it'll be a lot easier because you want the cable to be as tight as possible. Each individual strand. So I know you guys get the gist of this, but this is the time. This is, you know, everything we do here, well, I do, it's just time consuming, right? I enjoy it though. Because when you get to see the finished product is just, I don't know, it's just so great that you basically, let me see here. You know, you, you, you take a cable, right, from nothing, and you start making something out of it. You know, if you, for instance, like this here, so like, you know, this is another, this is APW3, this is all uh, custom sleeving, right? for the flagship uh, line. So it's just, I don't know. It's just like you're able to make something that's valuable, that will really, you know, can help you with mining or computers or anything in general. So that's, that's what I really love about all this. But let me finish this up and let's show you the next step. So, the ends are off on, on the negative side right now, right? On the top negatives. I'm gonna show you, there's, there's a little bit of madness going on here. You have to make sure all these wires are straight, right? So you could just take them right here for now. We're gonna use this. But really, you have to make sure, I mean, if you want the cables to come out like really, really nice, right? So you wanna make sure everything is as lined as, good as possible you know how how they fall in so now those are all straight we're gonna take this tighten it up take a tool start pushing them this is what I was telling you about that's why I did all the ends already this is where it gets a little, a little tricky. It's not the end of the world, but you want to make sure that every single one is lined up. The best contact is possible. So I'm gonna use this here. It's a lot, a lot of wire. Okay. See that? It just needs to be perfect. There, there's no compromising on this. Okay. So now we take this and we put this at the end. Almost there. Well, on one anyway. So now, see the ends? Going to 
Push it all together. Oh, that's nice. See that? And then, you see all the ends. Nice and perfect. So now, we'll take this, and now we're gonna solder. We're gonna solder to the end. So let's lift this up a little bit. Hold this right here. Make sure everything's nice and tight. Turn the soldering iron on. Just make sure that the soldering iron tip is clean. A little flux. Flux here. There we go. Okay. Good thing we use tin copper, right? So it's already tinned. The process is not horrible. But it takes some time. Just gonna warm this up here. And we're start applying the solder. And get every individual strand and solder together. happy medium you got to do it fast enough that you'll get them all and not burn anything else in, in the meanwhile right almost there there we go okay That's just one part. Okay. Now we'll take our tool right here, the cutters, cut that right off. So now this is waste. So that's waste. Now we have our ends. So that's one end right there. But we're still not done because we still have to do a crimp on this and solder that end too. But we have all the individually nice and tight. It's hot, right? So you don't want to. You don't want to mess with that. It's nice and tight. All the cables are doing good. So now I'm going to do the same thing here. Since you just saw that, I'm going to do the same exact thing, but we'll get to the next part. So now we're putting the eye loops on. So we're going to start with, I cut that off. We can cut these off now too because everything is all soldered up. So this will be the ground. This is the eye loop we're using for the ground, the smaller one. See how nice that goes in there? Right there, we have to crimp that. But, as you can see, see how everything's flat? You really want to get everything lined up and keep everything flat. So, this is how I set it up. You know, I use a breakout board for my jig. Haven't had time to make my own, you know, custom jig yet, but that still works, right? So, we'll use it. We'll get this on here. That's flat. Gotta go over here and do a manual crimp. So hold on one moment. Make sure everything's flat. It's just a manual crimp, so it's not a big deal here. There's one right there that's crimped on, and we just gotta do another one. One more. Okay, I would say the worst is over now, right? Getting each individual wire in here, as you can see, is insane. Now, we're going to solder inside there, around. I mean, there's a lot of solder, right? I want to make sure that you do not have... You're going to put some, some freaking watts through these wires, right? You want to make sure that it's just situated across the board, you know? Even though that's that's a great crimp everything else we're gonna put the heat shrink around here but I mean why not you know close everything up make sure everything is soldered 
you know, same thing on this here. Close everything up, make sure everything's soldered. So it, it's a process. And um, I'm, just, I'm happy to show you guys my journey for where we started and what we do, you know, to make wires, all different types of wires. So there's gonna be quite a few videos. So hopefully um, you're interested in this type of content. We're gonna be doing that as well. You know, all different types of videos and wires and if we engineer something different or make something different, you'll be here for, along for the ride. So let me finish soldering this here. Put the ends on. And then we can get into the heat shrink. Okay, so now that we have everything soldered, see here, see that? Closed up, all around, both ends, closed up, all around, soldered, pre-soldered, getting everything together, crimp. Now we can put the heat shrink on. Now it's safe to put the heat shrink on. So, we could start, actually, we'll start with the ground here. So this is the ground. Put it on here. I make sure, you know, I do, a cer I do it a certain way. So let's see here. Bring this over here. Get everything else out. Let's put this on. Takes a little bit, but There we go. I mean, these eye loops are pretty big. Actually, I'll show you a comparison to, because it was only 18 gauge, and uh, on the original Bitmain, 18 gauge wires. I mean, these are way over-engineered, honestly. But, this is what works. So, here, I'll show you. Let me see if I have, I think I have one of those cables laying around somewhere. The old Bitmain, hold on. So, here's a deep, the Bitmain ones. So basically, you can see how they do theirs, you know. That's that, it, there's, there's a little, uh, it's a little solder in there, if you guys can see it. But what I was trying to show you guys is basically this is the difference between the eye loop size, you know, and then the radius, obviously, between two cables. It's 16 gauge, so it all works. I mean, these cables are just engineered to, to really utilize power, so. This is the ground here, and then to finish it off, we're gonna put the Veteran Minor logo on here. That's about right. So you have the glued heat shrink, right? That's what is really just keeping everything together. Um, just put another piece of heat shrink right here. So you know it's ground. Okay, we'll do the same thing on this one. And I'll show you guys the end result. So now that the cables are made, as you can see right here, we're gonna connect them, we're gonna test them, and see how it all looks. Okay, now that it's connected, let's get some risers on here. Where are the risers? Risers. Okay, so we have the risers on there now. So let's power this up and see if I did everything right. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. It's always a great sign when they're not blowing up, right? But this is it, guys. Basically, in a nutshell, this is how I make the APW3 slash APW7 wires. Pretty cool. So that's all I got for you guys. Stay tuned to the next video. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you on the next one. Later.